Honourable Member for Livingston McLeod. Mr. Speaker, the Keno fire that occurred in Waterton Park and areas of the MD of Pincher Creek has raised many questions about the emergency response by a coalition of area landowners. These residents have grave concerns regarding communication difficulties, fire preparedness, and the lack of proper notification. Therefore, this group is requesting a formal inquiry into the events surrounding this fire as it relates to all of the government agencies involved, to the Minister of Agriculture and Forestry. Previous wildfire events have led to such inquiries. Will your ministry be conducting a formal inquiry that covers all aspects of the Kino fire? Thank you, and if Min not, I'll why not? The Minister of Environment and Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and the member for the important question. I, while it is true we've had, you know, uh, some, some uh, wildfires in the southeast corner of the province, overall we've had a very good fire season with only 15 percent of, of, of fires in the, uh, uh, that were average, the 10-year average, so 15 percent of that. So our, our firefighters have been doing a fantastic job. Their pre-suppression efforts have, have been bar none, some of the best in the world. I'm very proud of our fire firefighters and the excellent work that they have done, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Supplemental. Mr. Speaker, I'm not sure if he answered the question about my formal inquiry, but given that there were several different government entities involved in this event, including the Forestry Ministry, Environment Parks, Parks Canada, and the MD of Pinch Creek, and the Alberta Emergency Management Agency, and given the landowner questions remain mostly unanswered by the various agencies, to the Minister of Municipal Affairs, will your ministry, that includes the Alberta Emergency Management Agency, have a key role to play in an inquiry to the Kino Fire? And to what extent does it have in any responsibility to see that this results in a report being completed? Mr. Children Services. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, wildfires are always scary, and we empathize with anyone who lost property or livestock as a result. I'm immensely proud of the first responders who fought these fires, both our own wildland firefighters and the many municipal firefighters who help protect homes and businesses. Officials from AEMA are in constant contact with affected municipalities and local leaders, and always after an incident such as this, they work together to analyze what happened after the experience in order to continue to make the services that we deliver better after every single event. Mr. Speaker, we will learn from this experience. We will continue to move forward, but in the meantime, an incredibly Thank you, Honourable Minister. Second supplemental. Well, Mr. Speaker, we're still not getting an answer to the request for a formal inquiry. Given that the various local government agencies directly involved in the emergency response to the Keno fire right. have not yet been able to provide any clear details on a formal inquiry, and given that the affected residents have some very serious concerns and questions on this incident, and given that the ministries involved will hopefully conduct an inquiry at some point, to the Forestry Minister again, are you prepared to meet with these local concerned landowners and also provide an opportunity for public input into the questions at public meetings yet to be held? And if so, when and where might they be? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and the member for the question and, and, and the suggestion. I think it's a worthwhile suggestion, and I, I most certainly will look into it, talk to my officials to see, to see what we can learn from this. Every, every experience, wildfire season, we do, we do learn something. I am proud of the cooperation that between the various government departments, between the municipal departments that, that, that do take place in every, every wildfire, every emergency situation, wildfires or not, you know, there will be something to learn, and I will certainly take his, his suggestions into consideration, Mr. Speaker. 